All right, we just want to give you a quick update. Um, this is going to be a much shorter video than yesterday, but we're coming up the main street through Paradise Lakes community right now. It's raining today and the weather's kind of nasty, so we made a quick sweep through a lot of the area and then decided while we're working our way out, we'll just give you guys a quick update so you can see what's going on out here. Looking at the side of the homes, you can see it looks like the water's receded some, maybe a foot-ish. A lot of the debris has actually gone off of Harlan Lewis Road now. Um, yesterday it was so covered we couldn't even boat down it. Today we were able to actually take the boat and go down Harlan Lewis. So here we are at the corner of Warren and Paradise Terrace. And we're coming up to Harlan Lewis Road. Like I said, uh, just so you're aware, we're not going to go up and down each street. We've already done that earlier, um, doing our checks to make sure that there's nothing out here that is an ur urgent need. But since we've given you some kind of video update every day, we wanted to just go live real quick and give you an idea of what it's looking like out here. Uh, yes, this is a current look. We're live right now. So we are coming off the main road that goes into Paradise Lakes, uh, so Paradise Terrace, and we're getting ready to turn west on Harlan Lewis Road. Nope. We're going to go south and oh. show them the base. Hold on, we're going to turn and go south, evidently. So we're looking south, um, down toward the base lake on Harlan Lewis Road. We'll do a quick sweep. So this is the row of homes closest to Harlan Lewis Road in the Paradise Lakes community. Richard, we're optimistic. There's not supposed to be a lot of rain today. And what we're seeing, it looks like the water's receded about a foot so far. Um, it seems like the biggest worry is what's gonna happen with the river over the next couple days. But according to all the weather reports we're getting, the amount of rain that's predicted for the day is uh, hopefully, our fingers are crossed, that it's not going to affect everything out here. Yeah, definitely no ice out here, so that is yeah. totally awesome. We're not having to break through that today. A lot of the debris seems to have went somewhere last night. We haven't quite figured out exactly where it went yet, but we're not cutting through near as much debris to get into these areas either. So... Just remind them about trespassing and staying out. Just remember, even though the water is receding, um, this is still a highly dangerous area. There is so much out here. I mean, there is uh, deep water, fuel, oil. Um, we have seen some signs of underwater hazards. So uh, just a quick reminder, there is absolutely zero trespassing in this area. Um, like we said yesterday, if you come down here and you decide to come in, we'll give you a warm place to stay for a couple nights out west in Sarpy County. So let's, uh, I know it's tough. I know it's amazingly tough, but let's try to all be as patient as we possibly can and we'll keep you updated. We've had a lot of questions on our social media about when will access be granted again. Um, trust me, the city and county and state officials are all working on a re-entry plan. Um, but as you can tell from the amount of water out here, it's still going to be quite some time. Um, there is just massive, massive amounts of water out here. Anna, yes, this is the outer edge of the Paradise Lakes community. Um, if you're familiar with the area, which it sounds like you probably are, we're on the area that starts to butt up to off at Air Force Base. So um, it's really hard to tell, but you can see the base lake in view now. Um, it's much bigger than it was a couple days ago. Okay. Plenty of water space out there right now. And now we're looking off to the west, west will, yeah, and it's, it's, toward uh, off at Air Force Base. I apologize, I'm having a little bit of a hard time reading some of the comments because my glasses are completely soaked and it's really hard to see the screen right now, but I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I can while we're out here. Um, we have Captain Larry piloting the ship again today. And of course, Officer Grubb. 
up front making sure we stay safe out here, knocking all the hazards out of our way as we boat through here. So we're actually headed north, right? On Harlan Lewis Road now. Sorry, I'm a little directionally challenged. Um, but we're headed north on Harlan Lewis, so you can see um, it's difficult to tell where the road even is supposed to be. Um, off to the side, you can. The good, there is some good news. We couldn't see the railroad tracks the other day, and now we can actually see a glimpse of the railroad tracks. So that means it's coming down a little bit. And then we'll pan back over here because I'm sure this is the side most of you are tuning in to see. Um, but like I said, we're headed north up Harlan Lewis Road. So this is the row of palms and Paradise Lakes closest to Harlan Lewis Road. Yes, camera, you are right. It is absolutely chilly out here today. Um, if the video gets a little shaky, it's probably because I'm going to switch hands because this hand is already getting really, really cold and I need to take it down for just a second. So we just passed the main road, um, Paradise Lane, and we're headed down to uh, 34th, uh, 34th, 34th Avenue. 35th Avenue. Um, Kelly, we'll try to get you some updates on the higher ground at Green Acres. Um, if you're in the back border, northwest. like the northwest corner of that, um, up on the little incline there, the homes look like they're staying pretty dry. Uh, Dennis, I apologize. We're not going to be taking directions because we need to get off the water because it's cold and it's rainy and it's full of debris. Uh, we did, if you re-look at the video, uh, you'll see we did go south down to just about Base Lake Road. Um, Perla, we're probably not going to make it by 191 at Green Acres because I apologize. We're just not going to... Um, be able to take any requests to go to specific areas. This is once again just our quick sweep that we do every day to make check, sure that the drone footage everything back here is good. Um, if you didn't notice, um, on our Facebook page earlier we posted a overhead shot of everything from here yesterday. Um, Officer Grubb did an amazing drone video of this whole lower Hancock area and uh, you should be able to see quite a bit from there. So here we go, um, we're headed past U.S. Grounds Maintenance on the corner of 35th Ave and Harlan Lewis. Over here, I believe this is, uh, yep, this is Paradise Lake Helm Storage. We're coming up on some of the storage units right here. And we're going to go down 35th Ave for here a little bit. Um, those that were asking about Green Acres earlier, if you take a look at that drone video we posted earlier, you get a great overhead view of the entire area down here. So you can see the dry land, you can see the wetland, you can see um, why we're being so careful out here, just because it gives a really good look about how much water and how deep the water is out here. So we're going to try to keep everything, we're going to try to keep you guys as updated as we possibly can. Um, there's a nice jet ski sitting there, but that gets scoot us around out here if it's a little warmer. Um, we're going to try to keep you updated every day with as current as we possibly can. Um, weather dependent, we're going to go up with the drone again today and give you guys some overhead views once again. Uh, some of those videos are delayed because um, our emergency operations centers want to see the videos before we release them so they know exactly what's out here before we just release it directly to the yeah. public. Um, we're looking here at SARP Pass, Pass SARP Industries, so we're on the corner of Hancock and 35th Street. Um, Tiffany, once again, I apologize. We're not going to be taking requests to go to particular areas. We just can't do it today. 
Um, the brown lines you're seeing on some of the buildings are actually water level lines. So it's gonna kind of give you an indication of how high the water was and where the water sits right now. Just remember the water level is dependent on so many factors. We'd love to say that it's gonna continue just coming down over the course of the next few days, next few weeks. Um, but it's dependent on so many different things. Uh, it's just hard to say. There's a nice ski boat out there. Cooler. Um, so here we are, if you're familiar with Crow Lawn Care. We're in front of their building right now. Top of the door. It, you can actually see the top of their door today, so that's definitely an improvement. Um, we're looking at the back side of the Paradise Lakes community right now. It would be to the north. Yeah. It would be in the northwest corner. Southwest, southwest corner. <laughs> Sorry. I told you I'm a little directionally challenged. Um, you can still see a lot of fuel, a lot of oil in the water. Um, that's not changing a whole lot. Um, definitely a lot of trash, a lot of debris, um, corn stalks probably from Lord knows where, but some farmers getting blessed with everybody else's corn stalks because they're all going to land somewhere. If I can find some street signs, I'll try to give you an updated. 35th and Hancock Place we just passed. So we just passed 35th and Hancock Place. Once again, um, we're, we can't take specific requests to go buy specific lots. Um, I wish we could, but just, uh, if you've been outside today, it's cold and it's wet. And uh, luckily we're not breaking through ice today like we were yesterday, but we, uh, we did a pass through quicker earlier and we decided to take a slower trip back just so we can give you guys some updates on what's out here. Now this would be the back side of the Green Acres community. So I believe we came through here yesterday, if I remember right. I think we might have taken a little different path yesterday to get here. Um, I'm going to assume these were entrance flags to the community at one time before. We're guessing that the water is still probably around the same level, probably 10 to 11 feet now. Uh, from what we're seeing on the water lines on the side of the homes, um, it might have went down a foot, potentially. Um, but you can still see that it's up to the rooftops of a lot of these. Um, just absolutely heartbreaking to see. Um, we caught up on the 123 where we drove the vehicle through the fence on Saturday morning. So if, you're, if you've been following us this entire time, remember we did a rescue back here and the Nebraska State Patrol was kind enough to loan us their, or give us a ride, I guess, in their eight wheel vehicle. We're coming up on the entrance to that here in a minute where we were actually able to drive through it. And as you can see now, there is no way you can get one of those vehicles down here. So. Once I find a reference point here, I'll let you kind of know where we're at. So that is lot 101 right there. I should be coming up on lot 123 here pretty darn soon. I remember this building from the other day. Um, as of Saturday morning, this was the first place we seen water in Green Acres was right here, so... We're coming up on lot 123 now. Just to give you a reference point of where we're at. Um, this is, for those of you that aren't familiar, this is a corner where there's a big field behind Paradise Lakes and Green Acres that meet. Um, in that big field. So just kind of give you a reference point of where we're at. 
That's the gate we actually drove the Nebraska State yeah, Patrol right, vehicle through. And you can see today we won't be driving through there. Sorry, I had to switch the phone. My hands are getting a little cold. So here we are on lot 184 directly across no, no, no from 123. No worries at all. I'm glad it worked out for you guys. Once again, let's be respectful of each other when we're doing these live video broadcasts. Um, everybody has yeah. reasons why they did or didn't do something. Um, we were talking to someone that was displaced earlier today, and they said they were so overwhelmed they just stood in their house looking around and they didn't even know what to take. So, I mean, it's it's tough. Um, I can't even imagine what the people affected by this tragedy had to go through having some of them one hour to decide out of everything I own in my life and everything that's important to me what can I get into a car or a backpack or physically just carry out so it's it's really difficult to um, it's a difficult decision to have to make so let's don't try let's try our best not to judge other people on the decisions they made I mean none of us that were affected by this have no idea what they went through fire department so, yeah, they have two boats in the water. Yeah. As we're looking through now, we're headed. Um, lot 100. We're right around lot 100. Um, Haley, the people on the top part of Green Acres, that's probably a, uh, that's a question we're going to have to address with the Emergency Operations Center and um, see when you're going to be allowed to access those in Green Acres that are high and dry. We want to keep the area as safe as we can uh, for everyone and unfortunately part of that is actually keeping the area closed off for quite some time. But we will address it with... <laughs> Excuse me. We'll, uh, Looks like a lamp post. we'll address that this afternoon and see if we can get you guys an answer on when that, that can actually happen. Long, short, short. Uh, Randy, you're absolutely right. If you have a boat and you try to access this area yourself, uh, we're going to pull you and your boat out and we're going to send you out west for a little bit for a short vacation at the Sarpy County Bed and Breakfast. So we want to make sure that everyone stays safe and part of that is we need to keep the area um, empty and clean. Well, clean, probably a bad word. Um, we need to keep the area empty and free of anyone that's not directly um, part of the effort. So we appreciate all the offers to help. Absolutely. Um, Zach, I'm sorry, we can't take special requests. If we happen to roll by um, lot 139, we'll try to shout it out. Good reference point is if you know where your trailer park's at, based on where we are at, it's pretty close to the same level. Uh, Kevin, you can keep arguing on this, but right now um, we're just going to go with the answer: no, you can't come out here. So, Kevin, um, this is Officer Grub, do not come out here. You will be arrested. And Kevin, just to let you know, the point of us being out here is to make sure that no one tried to come back in um, and that no one's stranded out here. So we try to do a sweep every day. And um, as a courtesy, we're doing this for you, the community. As a courtesy, we're showing you what we're doing as part of our operation. We're trying to keep you as updated as we possibly can. Um, if you guys don't like these videos, let us know and we'll quit. We'll go back to uh, doing these patrols and we'll keep the information we need to ourselves. So, um, keep just pop in there real quick. In the meantime, though, we're going to try to keep you as updated as we possibly can. Right now, we're doing these sweeps one time a day. Um, if we deem them to be more, we understand he's upset it's his home, but for safety, we just nobody's allowed in the area. 
Kevin, we totally understand that you you have a home in here and you're worried about it. And I 100% can understand where you're coming from. But for your safety, for everyone else's safety, we are not going to allow you into the area. Um, we're not going to allow anyone down here. Um, here's lot 208 as a reference point, by the way. Where do you want to get to, Carl? So, right here at this deck so I can get 81. You can keep touting that horn all day. Um, I thank you for your service, Kevin. I. Once again, just keep loving each other. Yeah, good. Keep supporting each other. We are so proud of the entire state of Nebraska, the Bellevue residents. You've done such an, such an awesome job of supporting one another. We cannot appreciate you enough. Hey, it looks like we're live again. Sorry if you weren't aware, because I don't know if you were or not. We lost internet connection there for just a second. That green, uh, Roger, show that green trailer behind you. The green one behind me. That's lot 81. We were uh, actually parked there Saturday morning, just for reference. We Sorry, were, I know that was really fast. Uh, we were parked next to that Saturday morning, uh, and by Saturday afternoon, we couldn't even get back. So here's lot 83. Uh, just to give you a point of reference if you're familiar with that here. Yes, Sally, it is definitely raining out here. Luckily, it's not really hard. Um, but you can see we donned the beautiful orange ponchos today. <laughs> We're just passing lot 86. If you're familiar with the Green Acres community, this is the uh, far south row. Uh, there's some newer homes back here. Right before the incline starts to go up into goes up into Old Town. Um, Ibu, we were in, we did a quick start from Paradise Lake. So if you go back and you watch this video from the beginning, you'll see a quick shot of the outer. Um, you'll see a quick shot of the outer. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Yeah, we we definitely decided we need life jackets. Um, You'll see an outer shot of Paradise Lakes. If you look back on our timeline just a little bit, you'll see um, we shot some drone video yesterday to give you an overhead of what everything out here looked like. Uh, Zach, once again, I apologize. We um, have to take the safest route to get through the community. If we pass 139, we pass it. If not, I apologize, but we can't really take requests okay. to go to specific um, lots. I am on the water. I'm trying to get a reference point for you here real quick. Looks like we're coming back out of the Green Acres community on the 35th Avenue. Does it have a little shed attached to it? Does it have a little shed attached to it? Yeah, I would uh, call dispatch, have me kicked out. All right. We can probably end this at any point. We just want to All right, so we're going to uh, end this live video now because we're coming back into some area that we just covered. And um, once again, we want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, thank you for all your support. Um, just keep supporting each other. Our hearts are with each and every one of you that are affected by this. God bless you all.